Okay, after that episode of nothing but constant fights, we are back. And one thing I wanted to talk about, folks, and I guess this is a good opportunity to actually, you know, talk about this. Well, first of all, before I say anything, I want to wish everybody a great week. Oh, and, and, it's going to have to, you're going to have to hold because we have a cutscene. What is it, Kaim? What is it? Oh, there's no voice acting. What's that thing? It's all lit up. Oh, that's a firefly. Those are pretty rare. It, what? Fireflies are not rare. I see them all the time outside. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. They're called lightning bugs. Same difference. Anyways, um, this dialogue's not really that important. So, what I was going to say, uh, first of all, is I want to wish everyone a great week. And I hope you all enjoy, for those of you non-Canadians. Well, for you, for you Canadians... Um, wait, did I get poisoned? No. I hope you all enjoy Canada Day, which I believe is soon I don't know when it is but and for all the US citizens I hope you all have a great holiday week enjoy your 4th of July coming up and I know I am finally I have a day off of work and that's rare I, that like never happens anymore so I'm kind of excited about that and when I say that never happens I mean I never get a day off anymore <laughs> but um so yeah anyways um, what I wanted to talk about um, cause I noticed, uh, lately, for whatever reason, you know, I've gotten a, a few comments and messages saying, Dario, are you just bored? Are you giving up on Let's Playing? What's going on? You know, you haven't been uploading consistently, and it's true, I haven't been uploading consistently. And I'm not bored at all, it's actually the complete opposite, you know, I love video games. I've been getting into, uh, uh you know, on my spare time, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil Revelations, you know, when I get a chance. Um, what's been going on is couple things well first of all my work schedule is crazy you know it's it's really they're piling on hours on me I'm averaging like 50 plus hours a week now which is insane so I haven't really had that much time to record other than on weekends but on weekends you know I'm just I've been so tired and drained from work all week that ooh, treasure chest poison but I wanted the treasure I've been tired and drained from work all week that, you know, I just, I wanted to be able to wind down on the weekends and not have to worry about anything, recording, just relax, you know. So, it's not that I'm bored, i just been really busy, folks. Very nice. Sarah learned level 4 black magic. Now she can cast ground and all that good stuff. But, um, what was I talking about? Wow, I actually lost track finally. <laughs> that never happens. Um, oh yeah, so I was saying, it's it's not that I'm bored, folks, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm tired, and I just don't, I haven't felt like recording on the weekends, but finally, you know, I'm, I'm recording again, I've had a little uh, time for relaxation, and I'm happy about that, so, let's hope it lasts, but, yeah, it's just weird, you know, the comments, it's crazy, it's like, you don't upload for a while or you know people just start saying stuff and it's it's kind of odd because none of it's true I mean you know I've had hard times in the past and stuff has happened with my videos and whatnot where I haven't uploaded for a while or other stuff has gone on and people really sometimes just seems like they blow it way out of proportion you know but whatever it, it's like I'll give you a perfect example I uploaded you know, I, Jess was kind enough, a good friend of mine, Autumn Child Jess, was kind enough to finally, um, you know, I always thought it'd be cool to have, like, my own t-shirt design and all that, and she basically went ahead and, um, made it happen, you know, she designed the t-shirt for me, which is really cool to have my own Let's Play t-shirts, supposed to arrive soon, which would be cool, but, you know, she went through all the work of making one for me and all that, and I was like, you know, that's a cool thing. I'm going to buy one. I'm also going to put one, you know, just put it up online in case anyone ever wants to buy one, just for the hell of it. And interestingly, you know, one up, no one's bought one, which is fine. You know, I mostly did it for myself. But 
you know, people were criticizing it, which is really weird, you know, I, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, it's just another way for Dario to make money, but the truth is, I'm really not making any, I'm not making a dime out of it, because Jess designed the art, it's not my art, so anything that is made out of it, you know, whether it's three or four dollars, it's not going to me, it's going to her. So I'm making zero profit out of it, which is kind of why I was laughing at, you know, some of these comments I got. Run, Anyways, run. back to the game. They're gonna get us! They're gonna get us! Yeah. It's terrible! Damn, I'm running out of magic. But yeah, I guess one thing I, I gotta learn how to do more and is just kind of ignore the negative criticism, because I guess I'm, I'm kind of, I consider myself a... You know, an emotional type guy, and uh, even if it's like one or two little criticisms or feedback, a lot of times it it does get to me, I admit, you know, but I am getting better at it, and hopefully it'll get to a point where it's just like, you know, I could completely ignore and not worry about it. Scroll of Dissection! Ooh! Sorry, I got excited by the new accessory. What can it be? So, I am getting better at ignoring that stuff. Um... Looks damage on enemy front row reduces enemy GC. Okay. Cut down. I think that's an ability. So, I am getting better. I just gotta learn how to ignore it and just enjoy, you know, the positive feedback and entertain the people that want to be entertained, you know? I guess that's the best way to put it. Okay, the Black Cave, the Hell Trap. This sounds good. And, um... Oh, wait a minute. I can examine something here? I saw something. There you go. What is it? I'm probably missing a ton of items, too. Uh... Yeah, I know I'm missing items, but that's alright. No big deal. This game is just filled with items. We're hunting wabbits. Dead ends everywhere. Scary, scary music. Another question I've I've gotten a lot from a lot of people is about Let's Playing in general. Like you know, since I started Let's Playing, a lot has changed in the Let's Play community, and a lot of people have asked me if. Um, you know, if I feel like my Let's Plays have changed, or if my style has changed, or just my whole attitude... Ooh, new spell refresh! Yes! Uh, or my whole attitude towards Let's Playing has changed, you know, since I started two years ago. And the answer to that is, of course it has. I mean, I still love doing it to death. Pila! New spell! I didn't even see I learned that yet. Okay. But, it's just the way it is, you know. And refresh recovers the HP of the role party members. Very nice as well. Sweet. But um, actually, does that work right now? If I go ahead and go to Mac. Nope. No, it doesn't. Okay, backtracking. But um, as I was saying, you know, of course, let's playing's changed for me. I mean, I loved when I first did Final Fantasy X. Nothing could ever match it. You know, Final Fantasy X, I got the craziest... I've never seen feedback like that with X. You know, it was absolutely phenomenal. It was all positive feedback left and right. And people just loved it to death. And it was a certain feeling of accomplishment. And I admit, oh, you know, from all the Let's Plays I've done over the past year, I haven't really gotten that much of sense of accomplishment. Although I did get that with... Um, am I going the right way now? Shit. I did get that with God of War. I really felt accomplished after doing that. You know, it's always good to go back and, like, God of War, I did the whole... Oh, boy, that's not good. I did the whole God of War trilogy, you know? Oh, that's stupid. I can't believe I fell all the way here. Lame. 
So yeah, I did the whole entire God of War trilogy, and I felt accomplished after it, after it you know what, because the story was phenomenal and that game grabbed me. So that's the kind of things I always look for with Let's Playing. I always look for, you know, stuff that brings back memories, and just to feel, over, you know, good overall after playing a game. And I have to say that it hasn't been like that in a while, so that's what I'm trying to get back to. So I guess you could say that the let's the whole let's playing thing, a little bit, you know, it is a little bit different than than what it used to. But I still love doing it to death. I will never stop let's playing. Y you know, and unless something massive happens, like YouTube blows up or something. But what the hell? I just got to take everything day by day, enjoy it, and move on. You know, and then you see people like. You know, so much people that are respected, I respect in the Let's Play community, like NCS and Donna Bells and and other people like that. Even HC Bailey, I don't really. It's amazing. I don't watch. I've never watched one of HC Bailey's Let's Plays ever. Matter of fact, I don't even think I've watched a full episode of his. But I have more respect for that guy than I think. Probably, I would say he's top three in the respect level, top three Let's Players because. You never hear from the guy. He just does his own thing, let's plays, and you know something completely respectable about that. He never gets involved in any let's play drama or anything going on in the let's playing world. And to me, that's just a sign of uh, an amazing guy, you know. So, yeah, you know, maybe one of these days I'll actually watch his videos and get into it. And I don't know, but definitely pretty cool. Okay, anyways, let's actually talk about the game. I've been talking about a lot of other random nonsense for a while. So, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Awesome. During that last battle, Jansen learned level 5 black magic. I have no idea what it is. Let's see. Flare Mine. This is a pretty cool spell. You put that... What it is, is, you cast it on one of your own party members, and then when an enemy attacks them, it will automatically do fire damage to the enemy. So that's awesome. Probably the one of the best spells we've gotten to this point, and you'll definitely see that in action um, soon enough. Anyways, let's heal up a little bit. Everyone's got their ass whooped. As a matter of fact, we are in big, big trouble right now because a lot of my characters are low on magic, and we are still in this dungeon. Um, hopefully we'll be making our way out of it soon. But right now we are effed. So which way do I go? That is the million dollar question. I have no idea. I'm going to take a guess and say that way. You know, I'm kind of glad to be recording again. Because I don't know what happened the other day. But I had wonderful kidney stones again. And uh, this is a nice little... You know, relief to get my mind off it. Oh man, my stomach was absolutely killing me. Holy crap. Okay, that was a dead end that we fell into. Oh my god. I cannot believe I fell again. Oh god. Now I gotta make my way all the way up again. And this is why, folks, I cannot stand this stinking place. It'll be a goddamn miracle if I make make it out of here in one piece. Everybody's low on magic. We're all struggling. We keep falling through holes. Ending up on the first area. What's going on? <laughs> Let's try this again. Run! Nope, fell through another hole. Let's try this again. Boy, do I need a charm bangle right about now. 